The incredibly multi-talented Neil Patrick Harris is here. So excited about that. Thanks, he is starring in Hedwig on Broadway. He's also in Gone Girl, the movie everybody is talking about that's coming out soon. He's also here to share yet another talent, as if you needed another one. He's been hired as ambassador for the art competition Art of the Pixel, and he's going to tell us all about it. What is the Pixel? Thank you. Well... The Pixel is a small little dot that's used in TVs now. Yes. Uh, LG is a great company, has asked me to be a part, partner with them. Um, it's called the Art of the Pixel Competition. They've asked students from uh, around uh, the world in art schools to submit uh, digital media that would look great on these amazing new technological TVs. So uh, they've gotten nine students, one from uh, nine different art uh, schools and you can go online to lg.com and vote for your favorite and they win uh, money and the schools win scholarships and it's really just to show off these unbelievable uh, ultra HD and the OLED TV technology now is astonishing and so I think now the digital art world can start using a bigger canvas, you know yeah. what I mean? Do you, so are you an great. artist yourself in that regard? I'm not really an artist, I'm more of like a, a collector of contemporary art and yeah. stuff and so I've always assumed that eventually technology would you know would get this good and so they're really phenomenal things so I think it's cool it's and the great. art that they've come up with is really neat and it's nice to be able to honor and represent sort of digital artists and young artists and who, young emerging who, artists who look up to artists who, who followed their dream whether it was in a different medium yeah so you have until July 31st to vote so you should go and check it out all right and where can we vote lg.com all right which is convenient because that's the name of the company it's weird like that uh, I wonder I'm sitting here wondering because I I know I, I any chance I see See you doing something. I'm a big fan and and in love with you, frankly. Um, I just love your work, and so I love talking Fair about right. the books that you write and the plays that you do. And and, uh, and I don't know how you do it all because while you're uh, spending time with emerging artists, you're across the street, directly across the street, yep. um, doing Hedwig, for which you just won a Tony. Thank you. Award. Thank you. And not that I would forget that, but give me your hand. Uh, not that I would forget to mention Hedwig, Bro. but it's hard to miss when you notice that Look at these. you're wearing your glitter nail polish. Thank you. Uh, we put it on yesterday, and I remiss to take it off for at Already. least a few days. Yeah, the show's going fantastically well. I'm in it through the mid-August, and then a, a wonderful actor named Andrew Rannells takes over after that. It's like a crazy rock and roll uh, tour de force kind of uh, role, and I've been having a blast doing it. It's It's... It's killing me. It's slowly crushing me physically, but uh, that's why we act. Is to, it the hardest thing you've things. ever done? You know, in all of all the things. Yeah, it is. Because when you when you're first rehearsing it, you're learning about it, and then when you're first performing it, you're sort of shell shocked, and so you have to sort of m maneuver your way through it, and and yet you're also trying to be Iggy Pop and be sort of spontaneous punk, mm -hmm. and with that comes f you know flailing and doing it differently every night and different improvisation things that happen and and she's such a crazy angry fractured person that um, I get to it's a little bit of an opiate at this point it's I like a lot to get into with the physical therapy and the and the exercise and the makeup and getting ready for it and then once you're doing it you, it's, you're in this wonderful kind of hundred minutes of insanity. And you told me right when the show was starting, you were not going to use an understudy. You just didn't feel you could. It, have you stayed true to the word? You haven't missed a show? Yeah, I haven't missed a show yet. We just did uh, with, uh, with previews in, we're like at a uh, show 105. So it's good. But the nice thing about Hedvig is she's doing a one a once one time performance is the conceit of the show and it's it's rock and roll so if uh, if she's a little scratchy or a little under that's okay too yeah it just you makes play her more it. angry <laughs> which I can tell you having seen the show is actually really fun but I care about Broadway and and it being really good uh, every time you want to see a show that's why you come to New York and see these things so it's in my best interest to be skinny and angry and vocally on point and we have a question for you from oh. one of your many, many fans out there. Jessica Portillo on Twitter Jessica. asks you, how do you prepare yourself before a show and do you get nervous still? Um, uh, second part first. I'm not really nervous. Uh, I just get more adrenaline rush. I, I don't get too confident, I think. If you feel like mm -hmm. you're going to be really good, that's when I tend to mm -hmm. slip on my heels. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of ritual before the show. I have usually a vocal warm-up. I eat three hours before, I have a vocal warm-up two hours before, at 90 minutes I start getting into the makeup. At about a uh, half hour we get into the wardrobe and the wigs. Um, 
so it's it's a lot. I'm there. I'm there many hours before the show starts, and uh, it takes about an hour to recover. Are you? It makes it sound like I'm like exhausted. Like this is a terrible job that I'm doing. It's the best thing ever. It's no, crazy. It, 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 it's it's full steam ahead. That and it's from. emotional, and it's and it's rock and roll, and it's you get to sing and stomp around like Mick Jagger, and you also get to sit really still and yeah, talk I, and sing. Yeah, remember I, mean, I said to you, I, you, you watch the, piece. You watch it. And you, it makes you want to go try something different yourself. Push yourself, nice. which is a really great message. Oh, that's which fantastic. I, which is a perfect time to transition to Gone Girl because talk about a, a juxtaposition of characters. Right. Um, how is that? Some people are saying like the anti Barney, like kind of creepy. Well, I didn't, ch I didn't choose to be in Gone Girl. David Fincher, who is probably the best director going right now, uh, I'm a massive fan of his from the game on. He, I got. Uh, uh, an email saying that he wanted to have lunch with me to talk about a project and you drop everything and do that yeah. and he's the coolest guy in Gone Girl I had uh, read the book as did millions and millions of people and uh, said yes wholeheartedly and I place I place sort of a counterpoint to uh, the lead two named Desi Collins he's always been in love with uh, mm -hmm. with uh, Rosamund Pike's oh, I character so want, wish we... and it's so good I just think his his, every shot that David does is like a piece of art. You know, you can freeze frame everything, and it's all so gorgeous and symmetrical and well lit. And it's and it was really like another level of acting, especially having just done a um, multi-camera sitcom, which yeah. I'm so proud of. But it's so such a different experience. Uh, Will you do me a favor? Yeah. Will you take a vacation at some point? That's my plan. After <laughs> Hedwig is done, I'm going to take a nice break until the first of the year. And, I sort and, of miss and, hanging and out in New David York. And give David our love and Thank your beautiful you. kids our love. And um, when you. your book comes out, will you yep. come back? I, I, I had a real fun game of Would You Rather. Um, promise me that you'll come back Absolutely. and play with I'd us. Absolutely, I'd love to. Thank you, Laura. All right. Keep up the great work. Cheers. Neil Patrick Harris. Thank you. The Art of the Pixel. Art of the Pixel, LZ.com. I mean, you're looking at Ambassador Neil Patrick An Harris, An art everybody. ambassador. <laughs> I mean, come on. Uh, <laughs>